Spotify na yung Spotify. Ito. Okay. Ay, ayan lang po na ito. Pwede dili. Hi. Uh, welcome to this particular uh, OPEM uh, Practical Applications live session. And uh, if you have any questions, do ask me. I'll try to answer with best of my ability. Uh, I have with me uh, uh, Sitaram Gupta as well. Uh, so I hope that you are using this uh, uh, class. It's a we are this course is a rerun course, so we uh, could not add or uh, edit this course until we run it at least for two times and then i want to add a few additional modules to this course so that will become uh, uh, interesting for applying for different uh, different applications uh, focusing again on medical domain so we have nitin uh, kumar yeah. good morning nitin if any questions feel free to ask Okay, so I think there are any questions on the floor. Okay, so let's start with the first one, uh, which is asked by VG. Uh, VG is a faculty, and the question is when an amplifier X as an oscillator, the amplifier and oscillator circuit will work as amplifier or not? Does the amplifier which is having negative feedback circuit have a chance to go to oscillation state even if it is having positive feedback okay so uh, uh, basically when you talk about um, uh, the oscillator there are passive oscillators right active are you using op amps or not do you really want to use op amps now i i may be just asking a question right but uh, if you talk about oscillators then basically for oscillator to work uh, as an oscillator or circuit to work as an oscillator you have to clear the Markovsen criteria. Markovsen criteria says that the uh, the phase uh, should be 0 degree or 360 degree uh, while the uh, mode of uh, gain and feedback should be equal to or greater than equal to 1 right. So the point is once it starts oscillating uh, it may start dying and which is called damping oscillations and that's why we use amplifier to uh, bring it back to its uh, oscillated is straight. Uh, at the same time, uh, uh, oscillators only work or uh, circuit only works the oscillator when we use positive feedback. Uh, only amplifiers when we want to use OPM as an amplifier, then we have to go for negative. Feedback. So, thus, uh, to your answer, uh, you can uh, uh, make an amplifier integrated with an oscillator to amplify the signals and to sustain the oscillation rather than asking it uh, rather than looking at the damping of the oscillatory uh, signals. So, but again, keeping in mind that if the bar question criteria is not satisfied, it's difficult to oscillate the signals. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, another uh, uh, student have asked, uh, you, uh, Swami, uh, sir, I want to some problems on circuits and main theory PDF and some circuit problem explained in both things. I kind of don't get what your question is because, but what we understood is that okay, you want to have the theory uh, or lecture notes and that will be provided to you from NPTEL uh, office. Uh, we are working on the transcript, so soon it will be it will be available to you. Uh, as far as the uh, uh, problems are concerned, there are a lot of uh, assignments that we give. And assignment itself will identify a lot of problems while the final questions uh, or the question paper that we have said um, uh, only contains objective kind of uh, you know questions so that will be easier for you to answer of course some of them you need to solve the uh, problems so sure uh, uh, a pavan kumar says that while while you explain the concepts please, please provide some pictures that is easy to understand uh, we try our best to keep the things as uh, simple as possible right, to best our extent. However, we, we take your feedback, uh, Pawan. And uh, uh, in the like I said, this is, this class was already uh, recorded. It's a rerun course. 
so if we edit this course once again uh, if we get chance to edit this course we'll definitely add some pictures or some examples to make it even simpler okay next question is from uh, nitin uh, dood uh, uh, he is a faculty and uh, questions are are we supposed to design and simulate the op amp circuit during exam second is for online exam are there multiple correct options all right so the first one is are we supposed to design and simulate the uh, answer is no the design and simulation that you are taught is so that you can uh, design several circuits at your in your laboratory or uh, for your research purpose even for your students when you teach them it is easier for you to teach them that's why we particularly focus on the designing uh, part for online course are there multiple correct options uh, i don't think so there are multiple correct options there is only one correct option so you don't have to worry from that point of view mm, uh, and if there are multiple correct option and if you select any one still you will get the mark but as far as i understand and i have designed this questions uh, after looking at it thoroughly uh, there are no multiple correct questions okay along with uh, 12 assignments is there any other material which you should study of course you should have in all the lectures and uh, 12 assignments are just to help you out how to answer things uh, uh, by your own right uh, you you will be uh, forced to think uh, about the answers that we ask in the in the assignment uh, format uh, and it will be useful for you to uh, understand the codes in depth and thus also to score well in your final exam are electronic calculator allowed during exam uh, i don't think so this is not allowed uh after examination can we get solution of the questions asked in the exam uh, yes i think so uh, it is it is generally available uh, uh, the this is our experience but you the the best person to answer uh, this thing would be nptel madras iit madras office you please feel free to contact them if you have a very specific question regarding the examination uh, you know protocol or the syllabus or the solutions okay next one is uh, from sai uh, kiran kumar uh, he is a student is there an ic which works as same as op amp yes there are many uh, tl072747418284 and many more uh, that works uh, as op amp uh, okay uh, next would be kv sibarao sir uh, how can i understand more properly cdec and labview is there any faculty and online classes of the website please suggest uh, yes so one of the faculty in training is uh, my student sitaram right uh, he has been uh, a certified uh, cdec class cl cld cld engineer and um, uh, of course there are lab view uh, training modules available uh, by uh, national instrument uh, however there is just uh, one part of your uh, uh, question uh, i feel that uh, uh, if you uh, what we can do is if you ask this same question in a forum we will find you a link so that you can just all of you now why only you all of you can just look at the link and get more details about the uh, cdec and lab view program all right another question is from dr prabhakar uh, khandait uh, question uh, he is a faculty and it's how to prepare for examination Uh, uh, uh since you are faculty i i think um, uh you already know how to prepare for examination however uh, if you ask my opinion is just like if you attend all the lectures if you if you prepare for assignments automatically your concepts will be clear we ask very simple questions in the uh, exam if you have appeared for any of my previous examinations and uh, the question sets are very simple but uh, which requires you to think about it uh, it it is a mixture of uh, lectures uh, that we take uh, some uh, questions are that you have to think about it um, so i believe that if you just uh, look at the course uh, lecture notes as well as the recorded videos uh, that will be enough and you do correct assignments that will be enough for you to score well in the examination uh, swapna uh who is a faculty again uh, uh, is asking us that i failed to pay exam fee now i want to write the exam please tell me how can i pay fee to write the exam again i, I the fees doesn't come to uh, uh, to me or any faculty okay uh, it is handled uh, by iit madras and that's why i again request you to ask or send an email to iit madras uh, nptel office uh, 
uh, they are very very supportive uh, they will help you uh, to be, with the max, with the best of their abilities so uh, feel free to ask uh, and uh, send an email to them yeah, if you don't get a reply uh, after let's say two or three days because th there is huge load uh, on that office uh, as well uh, then you uh, contact me and then I can just uh, look around okay but as far as I understand and my experience with the IPTEL and NP, uh, NPTEL uh, IIT Madras offices uh, they have an excellent supporting staff and uh, uh, they reply you to any of the queries uh, uh, most of the time within the same day same working uh, uh, day so I hope that you can get your answer about late paying fee if there is any possibility uh, we will just uh, get it done. Uh, K. V. Subarao uh, is the faculty is asking, sir, in the twelfth week lectures, you introduce data acquisition lab. You, according to my understanding, these are used for building control system. Is there a suitable area of research doing research? Please suggest that related areas. Yes, sure. So, uh, lab view is of course used for control systems and maybe Sitaram has taught you uh, about the control system a little bit about from the uh, industry point of view, right? Temperature controller, how to control the systems uh, or instrumentation. Uh, but uh, at the same time, if you want to connect the, uh, let's say, sensors, right, and you get the data, then the lab view would be extremely useful. Now, when I say sensors, which kind of sensors? It can be uh, VOC sensors which are meant for detecting volatile organic compounds. It can be four sensors which are measured to measure uh, uh, from millinewton, micronewton to millinewton of force. Uh, if you have array of sensors, you want to get all the data simultaneously, everything you can, uh, uh, you know, uh, use the lab view. It's an excellent uh, uh, platform to uh, use for initial study uh, when you have sensors and you want to have an acquisition. However, the final thing would be that you need to make your own uh, uh, portable platform with electronic module, but this will give you a very good uh, kick start uh, to understand the research uh, area. Uh, like I said, suggest research areas, uh, one of the research areas I can suggest is in the area of MAMS based force sensor, another one in the area of MAMS based VOC sensor, another area can be healthcare technologies, another area can be biomedical applications. So, a lot of areas we can use this uh, equation system. Uh, understand this that uh, only sensors are useless without. Uh, a proper electronic modules so and vice versa as well so if you have a, a experience and understanding of both it will be used so next is uh, uh, Sharuk uh, the question is what type of job I get in this field uh, I, I I think I am not a right person to answer uh, this question however let me uh, put based on my experience uh, the, the student who uh, uh, course through this particular type of course along with other courses generally uh, they are hired by NI uh, they are also hired by TI um, uh, uh, and then many more uh, uh, electronic uh, industries uh, uh, lot of other electronic industries as well uh, in Bangalore in particular uh, Intel also has uh, and other semiconductor industries also has but uh, uh, only one course will not uh, lend you in a job Right. Uh, that should be a multiple set of courses and you should grow as a uh, scientist or engineer in, in multiple directions with a knowledge about one particular subject in depth but you should kind of know a lot of subjects all right so that gives you uh, that makes you a good candidate for a company to hire you and uh, yeah thank you Nitin uh, I, I wish you all of you a very uh, happy and prosperous uh, uh, vacation uh, and uh, festival wishes to all of you uh, so uh, if you have any questions I am still available uh, you can ask me because uh, most of the things that we are asked through forum I answered it so The only thing that I will uh, be, you know, uh, giving as a feedback is uh, concentrate on your assignments, right? Uh, uh, concentrate on the importance of the understanding of this particular course, and automatically try to uh, interlink this course with some other uh, courses, so that you can come up with a uh, interesting solutions. Uh, uh, if you are into the research field, 
uh, this course will be extremely useful when you want to integrate your sensors or transducers um, uh, with this particular circuit. Uh, we have a separate course. Uh, yeah, so for example, Saruk is asking what courses that are to be learned along with this course. So we have another course called sensors and actuators. If you take that course, then you will understand how we can fabricate sensors and actuators and then you can use this course and integrate that course along with this to make a complete system. So that's one is the example, quick example. There's another course, uh, MAM space sensors from clinical perspective. We have taken another set of uh, sensors over there and we have taught how can you design different uh, devices for medical perspective. When you make a device like say ECG, uh, EEG, and a lot of other, uh, uh, you know, data equation system, you have to rely on the uh, signal acquisition and that that's how this course will be extremely useful for you. Okay, so I think if you uh, don't have any uh, specific questions, uh, which I don't think right over here, um, what we'll do is uh, we'll stop this uh, session now uh, and we will continue uh, editing the course if given an opportunity uh, and to add more uh, pictures and other, other uh, you know, solutions, applications as well. Yeah, so Nitin, uh, let me answer this question that how to study the for lab view. Yeah, you are welcome, Saruk. Sujit, hello, Sujit. You have any questions, Sujit? Yeah, so to, to be very simple uh, in your answer, Sujit, uh, the resistance uh, generally we measure when it is a DC uh, 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 circuit, while the impedance we measure when, when there is an AC. Uh, let me now give you a little bit in depth. So uh, let's say you take a, a tissue, all right, and if you dip the tissue into a solution and you are measuring the uh, resistance, then it is not a correct parameter because now your uh, double layer capacitance uh, will come into picture. In that case, uh, resistance is not a right property to measure and that's why we go for impedance measurement. So, uh, in impedance measurement, again impedance is depend on a uh, frequency, right, because we are talking about AC. So, you have to do a complete frequency sweep from 0 to, let's say, 2 megahertz and you will find that at particular frequency, the impedance would, uh, uh, would be different and if you take a normal tissue and a cancerous tissue, it will be really different. So, uh, that way uh, uh, the resistance would not be a right property measure, but the impedance would be. So, uh, you can answer in that particular sense. It makes more uh, uh, you know, sense when you, when you take an example rather than just uh, saying it's a DC and that's a AC. So as you can see that you know there are YouTube videos, there are there is a book uh, of M for everyone, right? Uh, if you just go through this one, it will be easier. For the 75 max exam, how many? Uh, is it for total 75 max exam? How many um, MCQs to face? Uh, I I don't remember how many you should but i think uh, 50 50 is what uh, we we kind of design so but it's it's very easy nitin don't, don't worry about uh, uh, you know mcqs uh, you will you will do well it's it's not so difficult exam to pass okay uh, so sir if i am going to guide projects based on our course for students can i get help from you um yeah, if it is really, really difficult uh, and you are not able to uh, answer some of the queries, then you can definitely contact me, Subha. However, uh, uh, I right now had 24 students with me, uh, including uh, two MTech students, seven PhDs. Uh, 
uh, I had a postdoc who is recently joined uh, NAL and uh, a few interns in my lab. So uh, I am already spending almost 12 hours a day including weekends. So uh, if you have really, really difficult questions uh, and you are stuck, then you can uh, take help from me. Uh, uh, however, uh, uh, if it is very trivial, then I feel that you are you can guide by yourself. But if it is difficult, sure, do contact me. So uh, I think uh, I I don't have uh, I don't see any more questions from the uh, from students. So let us uh, uh, finish this live session right now, and uh, uh, I, I wish you all the best for your exams. Uh, like I said, it's a very very easy and simple uh, exam to pass uh, if you concentrate on the uh, on the assignments and of course lectures and. Uh, if you have uh, further questions, already we have the uh, forum for for you to help. Um, you, I, I hope that you are getting a right kind of uh, uh, answers to your queries through forum. All right. So, um, uh, emails uh, is a little bit difficult, Nitin, because in that way uh, there are about seven thousand students who registered. So. I had to e reply email for 7000 um, but very specific and it is re really really uh, non trivial questions which you are uh, facing a difficulty then you are free to send me an email uh, again uh, I, I am uh, uh, I am really occupied with a lot of other things so you need to wait for me to reply to your email if very specific emails are there I will be replying to your email uh, the best way uh, Nitin would be to contact through uh, NPDEL forum Okay, so all the best, uh, uh, Diwali wishes to you and uh, uh, have a nice exam. Uh, I'll see you maybe in ne next course. Then you take care. Bye.